In this video, I'll guide you through step-by-step -step how to set up your email newsletter using Beehive. This tool is good. It'll help you grow your subscriber list, maybe create a profitable side hustle, or maybe expand your business. And we will go easy with it, step-by-step. -step. Long story short, it's not complicated. To begin, let's talk about what a Beehive actually is. If you want to try it out, you can just go over to beehive.com or you can just Google for it like this. So it is with two eyes. Now it is free and I'll show you the pricing right away. As you can see, there are like these plans, which will be useful to you if you have a large list of subscribers, but up to 2,500, it is free. All right. So this is going to be useful to most of you out there because 2.5 thousand subscribers it is a really big thing right and if you ever tried to like make a newsletter you know how hard actually this is if you don't move the traffic from somewhere else that is if you don't already have an established audience now beehive is perfect for those who have a clear idea of what to write and know their niche well so i suppose you do that and to get started, you just visit their main website. And as you scroll down, you will see all the features that can help you build writing skills faster. And that will help you start earning and much more. The site is straightforward and it's user friendly. And you'll find numerous newsletters and various options to choose from, along with reviews and benefits shared by users. All in all, it's a pretty popular platform. And you can start creating your own newsletter immediately if you wish. So what do you want to do? Firstly, create yourself an account. You can just click here on this button, which is like start trial or start 30 day free trial. Click on it. Just click here on get started with launch. This is the plan, which is free. Enter your email address or just use Google. Confirm your email like this with this code and then just sign in. When you do all of this, you will arrive at a page like this. It will look similar to this layout. Now we're going to walk through each tab and its functions. You can see these tabs right here. You can expand them by clicking here. As you can see, you've got a few of these. Firstly, this is your dashboard. You can access that anytime by clicking here on dashboard. And here you can view all your basic analytics, such as active subscribers, average open rate. This is showing you how much people are opening your emails and average click rate. You'll also see the number of posts you've made and the impressions they have received, as well as your active subscribers. Now, let's move on to the Start Writing tab, which is located here. In the drop-down menu, you have Blank Draft, or you can just use a custom template. I will go with the Blank Draft, and here you can just pour out all the ideas and content that are currently in your mind. This is where you just write, you know? Pretty self-explanatory. This is where you will compose everything you want to share. Now, good thing is that you can just type in this forward slash and you've got a lot of these little tools that can help you. You can embed certain things like, for example, Twitter profiles, Twitter links, TikTok, YouTube. You even have some of this AI writer options, which I'm not using, to be honest, because I just use, for example, ChatGPT in order to do some research. I don't like to use it for writing because I just think people can tell if it's AI written or not. But these are really, really useful to you, such as, you know, numbered lists, buttons, everything that you could find, for example, in a Word document or something like that. Next one, let's take a look at the Grow tab. Grow tab, well, this is where you will expand and enhance your newsletter. The Grow tab helps you broaden your content, add more detailed information, and overall, it'll improve the quality of your newsletter significantly. You've got these boosts, and these boosts can help you earn money on the side, but this is something that is more like a pro version, and I wouldn't recommend using this until you just get the hang of it. And of course, if you're interested in making money with this, this is gonna be the most important part. As the name suggests, it allows you to insert ads into your newsletter to insert subscriptions. And then you have boosts right here as well. As you can see, this is where people just put their ads so we can just import these ads for a fee to 
your subscribers, right? Next on is the audience tab, and this is where you monitor your subscribers. You can view polls, you can access analytics and more, and it helps you just keep track of your audience. You can manage your subscribers. You can just view these polls. How do you do surveys? And this will, in a nutshell, just enhance interaction with your readers. And finally, the analyze thing. This is where you can just review the growth and performance of your content which is a valuable feature for evaluating your progress down the road. So that is it in a nutshell. I told you it's not complicated. All you got to do if you're just starting out from scratch with like zero subscribers, you can just click on start writing and start putting out your content, right? But if you do have subscribers from somewhere else or maybe previously you had some kind of newsletter where you have subscriber lists to email lists or you just want to move the traffic from somewhere else the good thing that beehive has is this so you can import a list of subscribers from somewhere else so if you click on this import list you can click on this as you can see start new import but there is imposed limit here and this is going to be only limited to 10. Now, this is a rule from Beehive because any new account can't import just like that. If you have a larger audience, you have to send them an email, right? As you can see, do you need to import more subscribers? Verify your identity and we'll instantly raise your import limit to 10,000. This shouldn't take more than five minutes. So you do have to start this Stripe identity verification. And they're imposing this limit just so you don't make any funny business, right? Adding some random emails from people who didn't even like subscribe to your email list. And I honestly think it is a good thing. It just get rid gets rid of scammers. Now, when you do want to reintroduce yourself to your previous subscribers, it is a good thing to let them know that, you know, in your first email, just let them know that this is your new thing. This is your newsletter and make some connections to what you were working on before. One effective way to do this is by starting your posts with an invitation for subscribers to freely unsubscribe if they wish. This approach I just love this approach because it respects their preferences and ensures you're engaging with an interested audience, right? And it is a good thing to just keep yourself engaged with an interested audience if you want to stay within this limit, right? So if some people don't like, I don't know, if you're in the fitness niche and they don't want to go to a gym anymore, you invite them to unsubscribe just to say stay within this limit, right? If you're just starting out, that's a good strategy. And yeah, when you head over to your first writing, you could just mention something like, hi everyone, I'm reaching out to share something important with you. Just clearly state the purpose of your email or newsletter, whether it's about a product, service, or just invitation, just be transparent about why you're reaching out. Just be upfront, right? It'll just increase the likelihood that your subs will engage with your content and stay subscribed. Now, when you do make yourself an account, Beehive will give you the default email address. If you prefer to change this email address, and a lot of people do, you can just head over here to settings. Then just select change email here, and you can enter the email address you want to use, which can be your domain name and then just follow any verification steps required to just confirm the ownership of the new email address. And yeah, it's easy as that. Now, the next step is to, of course, grow your email list. And you can expand your email list using various platforms, like for example, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, you know, through social media, it is the best way. Because if you can combine some kind of content, which is written content with something like this, for example, as you can see, this is like girls night and club. And you can see that this is a weekly newsletter and they invite people through the link in the bio. And then they just post content down there, which is relevant to their audience, right? So they just nurture the audience with some pictures on Instagram and they get the followers here on Instagram as well. And on top of it, they invite people to click on the link in the bio. So in order to subscribe to their newsletter, this is a efficient way of doing so because it grows your both accounts, right? So you grow at the same time on Instagram and on your newsletters because you never know whether you're selling certain product or service, whatever. You never know where your next customer is going to be. So it is good to cover all of these spots. Also, what is good is to use LinkedIn if you are, well, if you've got an audience which is more inclined to use LinkedIn 
than it is to use like all the other social media. This is for more serious businesses, right? The good thing about LinkedIn is that they got a new feature, which is the newsletter inside of itself, and they do give a lot of power to it. So you can repurpose your old content and post that as an article on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is gonna promote that via its own platform, of course. It's not gonna do anywhere else, but you get a lot of reach because this is a brand new feature on LinkedIn. And you can link your newsletter, you can link your website, you can link your Instagram profile. All these articles on newsletters on LinkedIn, which will then promote that to a lot of people. And then people will just, yeah, you will have a lot more engagement. The best approach is to just drive that traffic over to your website or just your newsletter, right? And as I've told you, once you reach this necessity, it is gonna be $39 per month. But honestly, you can use this one forever if you like feel that it is gonna be enough to you but after all if you reach this well probably by then you will be earning way more money than this is so this will be affordable to you and yeah it's gonna be a good plan all in all it is a good tool not complicated and yeah they run all your business you just have to create content right so wish you good luck with that and i'll catch you later